Okay, what's up? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Can right. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, cool. Okay, so what was the topic? We was uh, you, you were saying like Gohan stops at Frieza? Yeah, he stops at Frieza. Okay. Uh, so do you want me to start first or you can start? It'd be on uh, you start, you start. I want to hear your argument on um why seventeen beats him. Okay, are you aware of like seventeen's feet with like Anizawa? Um, no. Can you remind me of it again? Yeah, I got you. I'm about to send you the clip. Basically, with his barrier, he goes through an attack that the combined forces of Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Frieza couldn't push through. Okay. Yeah. Let me send. Yeah. It. Give me one second. Seventeen versus. Make sure it's the full thing too. Uh, if you want like more context behind the clips, I'll send like whatever you need. But this is just the feat that I'm referring to. And then I could show like more feats. Like, are you aware of him blocking Goku and Vegeta from Jiren's attack? Um, I saw that he had um he used a bunch of barriers and then he had to um self-destruct to neutralize Jiren's attack, yeah. Yeah, but you understand like how impressive it would be just to be able to block Jiren's attack with the barriers. Uh, yeah. Especially considering he's also protecting Goku and Vegeta, and then also he survives his own detonation, so he but would have to like. Don't, oh, my don't don't you think it's less impressive because he threw up multiple barriers and they were all destroyed? Well, are you aware that like still the barriers protected Goku and Vegeta, right? You still yeah. have to hold down for him. It didn't just get instant. Then, right? That's my point. And then um. Uh, the self detonation, um, like uh, doing that, like self detonating or you know self destructing, you know you can also oh, power. Let me send this too. Are you aware, like, to actually like block someone's attack with a barrier, you need to exhibit uh twice the amount of key as the opponent. Uh, no, no I'm yeah, not I sent it. It also tells you it comes from too, just in case you wonder. Yeah. So we know the barrier would have to like scale uh, greater than what Jiren's exhibiting right now. All right, wait, I'm still looking at the first feet. Okay, got Give you. me a second. I got you. This isn't like a new point. I'm just like substantiating why the barrier feet would be impressive. Yeah. You still there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished the clip. All right. Thank you. Okay, no problem, dude. Technique where they use key to create plans.
Wait, so um, can you clarify one thing for me? Um, What's that? On the same, the same scan that you just showed me, where it says that you have to omit twice the amount of key, it also states that um, uh, it's natural that number 17 was uh, able to use it. He has infinite energy generator. Yeah, but 17 still has like a quality of key. Like you don't believe 17 could block yeah. Super Perfect Sales attack in the Android Saga, right? No, 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 no. No. Yeah, so still 17 would have to like have more. So what I'm so we know he has infinite stamina, and I can understand like you know why you have some questions there, but his stamina still needs to be at a certain level. Like Vegeta can have uh not as much stamina as 17, but he can exhibit more force with his key. Like his key quality can be greater. So 17 would still have to raise his key to a level comparable to the opponent. Otherwise, it would still get broken. Like the stamina wouldn't matter because the actual quality of the shield that's produced from his key would be terrible. Okay, can I ask one more question, right? So, do you feel like he would be able to use that same amount of key in, like, an attack? Yeah, because the barrier is just his key. So, it would be, like, no reason to say he couldn't. Oh, okay. So, wait, I've got one more question. So, this is, like, this is expanding from my point now. So, you see when um he fought um, Topper before Topper used the God of Destruction form, right? Yeah. Um, he didn't like he couldn't fight Topo head on, right? He had to like he had to like be more strategic and like run away and keep spamming key blasts, right? But that's kind of like Seventeen's like fighting style normally. He's a very strategic fighter within the TOP, right? But like if he had doubled the amount of um energy that Aniraza was able to put out there, and Aniraza um he was beating all of the four fighters combined, you know, Golden Freezer, Gohan, mm -hmm. Vegeta, and that. And if um, 17 is able to put out more energy than all that combined, wouldn't you think that he would be able to beat Topo? Also, why would that, like, in that case, right, where are you seeing Topo skills? Because all that would mean is it would just upscale Topo. It just means Topo. Um, right. I would say that Topo scales to around beginning of Terminal Powers, um, Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. Why? So we see that before he uses his God of Destruction form, him and Vegeta were having a fight. It wasn't like they weren't, like, going all out. But they, they were still main each other. And then also, um, at the um, pre-tournament of power, at the exhibition match, um, Goku was... Um, when Goku used Kaioken times 10 on top of Super Saiyan Blue, um, a bunch of... There, there was characters there saying that he was more powerful than Topo. Um, do you want me to show you the scan? Yeah, can you show me that? Because I recall, like, Topo not losing the fight. All right, cool. Let me just get it real quick. Yeah. Um... Give me a second. I have to find it first. You good, bro? Take your time. I'll say if it helps, I found the scene. Grand Prix stopped them before the fight could continue. Oh no! Oh yeah, um, I was wrong. Basically, um, it's just the fight, the exhibition match, right? So, um, uh, you see, Super Saiyan Goku was getting he was getting destroyed by Topper, basically, right? Yeah. And then he goes into blue and he starts overpowering him, and then he uses an instant transmission Kamehameha, and the power from just base, not base Goku, from blue Goku. Um, was state it was said that um Beerus stated that he could have killed Topo. Are you aware that like Topo wasn't going a hundred percent? Uh, yeah, but it does it show that Goku was going hundred percent either? Well, we know Goku's Kaioken SS Blue is his max. We know like before the Grand Kai stops him, you can like look at the scene too. They were both gonna go at hundred percent and battle each other at that point. That's why Goku goes into right. Kaioken because at the time. SS Blue Kaioken is his max. That is his trump card. That is like his last resort if an opponent's really, really strong. Okay. Um, all right, all right. So that wouldn't uh, like mean anything. It would just mean like this uh, suppressed Topo who didn't even get a chance to fight at 100% would be like in this range of SS Blue Kaioken Goku since he even tanks the attack anyway. 
So there's no reason to believe that he's greater because he tanks Goku's attack. Oh no! What's it called? Um, he this was Blue Goku. He goes into Kaioken after, before, like after, he, like when Grand Prix stops it. Yeah. Okay. Well, my fault then. But yeah, yeah. either way, like he so, wouldn't change anything. So um, now, basically, what I'm saying is, um, so since they both wasn't like going 100, percent right? This would roughly put them around. Wait, the same why wouldn't Goku not be going 100? percent like during, um, um, oh no, never mind. My fault. My fault. I'm confused. In instance, why would like Goku not doing anything against Topo with his attack since Topo literally like shows he tanked it, and then them both not having the ability to go off um, at that moment? Actually, so speaking. after the instant transmission, Kamehameha, um, he managed to rip some of Topo's um, um, clothes, and then yeah, Topo was like visually like he was wounded. Well, yeah, this is like a suppressed Topo. I'm saying, like, why would that speak on the one that fought 17? Uh, because basically, right, so in um, 17's fight with Goku, right, like this was before, right? So none of them, they weren't going all out, but 17 managed to push Goku to Super Saiyan Blue, right? Yeah. Uh, but can we both agree that they weren't going all out? All, all out I mean, I have no clue. I couldn't say. So like, it puts them like, like, let's just say they're on like the same tier, right? And then let's put Topo on this tier. And then, so, and then we have Gohan. Gohan also fights Goku, and he manages to also push Goku to blue. Wait, so um, in that instance with Gohan and Goku, right, with 17, you agreed that he was pushed at that point. Like, he had to go SS blue. Why did he have yes. to go SS blue against Gohan? What indicates that? Um, in the fight, um, Goku, they were fighting, um, it was Goku, no, it was Gohan in Mystic versus Super Saiyan 2 Goku, right? No, no yeah, Super Saiyan Goku or Super Saiyan 2. And um, he was beating Goku, like like you could just see in the fight. And then um, after that, if he was called Goku has to transform to fight, and then Gohan still manages to hold his own. Well, if we actually against... we can, like, look at the scene, he doesn't fight Goku in SS Blue for that long. They do like three punches, and then he goes to Kaioken. Okay, wait. Uh... Yeah, I can like, see if I can find it quick. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, so they, they have like two punches. Them. Gohan says, use your full power. And then Goku hits him with Kaioken and just one taps him. Whereas right. like 17 and Goku have like a legitimate battle where Goku even himself notes, yeah, you like really are going crazy right now. Like you pushed me to this point. So I would say it's a difference. I would say like Gohan's feet doesn't compare to 17's. Right, okay. Um, okay, yeah, you got me there. Um, shit. Okay, give me a second. I got you, dude. And just to, like, speak on it, um, like, the Andrew 17 and Topo moment, we know, like, Topo had to be, like, thoroughly pushed because, like you said, he had, like, he tanked uh, SS Blue Goku's attack. Like, it wasn't an issue with that. 
but like Topo was more willing to let Frieza shoot him in the back rather than let 17 actually get the attack out the way or even the possibility they hit him. So I'll say that like that would have to also let us know that 17 couldn't be like some bitch to Topo if he's like choosing to let Frieza like fuck him in the back rather than just like tank the attack from 17 and then proceed to like fight Frieza or something. Right. All right. So um basically right so i just watched the goku versus 17 thing again right mm -hmm. so um they goku in super saiyan against android 17 like um android 17 like was overpowering him but like it wasn't like crazy overpowering like i'd say like like goku could still fight back it was kind of the same performance we saw against um gohan right and then they went into blue and then goku went straight for kamehameha and then um 17 used a barrier yeah are, are you also aware that like 17 never indicates that he's going all out in the battle either uh yes yeah like he never goku flat out was like yeah you pushed me to go blue so that would let us know as the audience that 17 had to been like quite strong but 17 never says yeah i'm really like you really like pushing me to the max so then like what i'm saying does work it's just 17 was not at max during that time right and then we have like this version of 17 later Who's showing these greater feats than before? All it means is that Seventeen is using like all of his power, right, or just more than what we've seen to explain why he would have like these feats that are questionable. And then the same line is like logical go for Topo. Topo wasn't going one hundred percent against Goku, so when we see the one that's fighting like Seventeen, all it would mean is that this Topo is using more power than th back then. That's all we'll speak on, right? Yeah. And, and even like you don't agree with that, I don't need Seventeen to like beat these individuals. Uh, I'm just saying that like 17 scales the individuals, even at the lowest of level, even if you want to say like he's relative on the low end, then what Gohan scales to within a TOP for the anime version, right? Because I only recall him scaling like the Dipso and um, Frieza. Right, all right, cool. Um, shit, I, I'm, I'm going to concede. All right, homie, GG. All right, GG, bro. I'm going to fucking rate. All right, have a good day. Same to you, man.